Existential analysis is a special form of existential therapy. Existential analysis has in its focus inner consent of the person. When you live according to your inner consent, then you have the highest chance for happiness in the sense of fulfillment in, in one's life, in my life. Inner consent is an application, is a specific form of making use of the human freedom. Inner consent is this feeling of an inner yes to what I do. Then I am congruent with my essence, with my person, with myself, with my deep inner nucleus. When I feel a yes to what I do, to what I, or to what I do not, to what I do, where I resist. In the consent says, yes, this, what I do, has full agreement. Yes, a felt yes, it is a consentiment. My feelings come together here. It is not a yes by my cognition, by, ration, by, by a rational um, result or um, a, a logical outcome. <clears throat> it is something what we feel, must feel, and it is composed by four inner yes. If the inner yes is not clear, it has to do with one, at least one of these four dimensions. It needs a yes to the conditions and circumstances and the reality in which I am. It needs a yes to my feelings and my life and my values. It needs a yes towards myself as the one who I am and what, is, what matters for me, what are corresponding to my interests and convictions and attitudes. And it needs a yes to the broader horizon in which I live, in, um, in the system of family, working places, but also in the horizon of time, back uh, the past and the future, that I have see a meaning in it. So existential analysis can be briefly described or defined as helping people to live with inner consent to find their consent and or to change the situation in a way that I can have a maximum of inner yes to what I do and I experience.